Hey everyone, welcome to my first review of this Dingbats A5 Plus notebook. I just got this in the mail two days ago and I'm really excited for it. Um, I got this new orange tiger pattern which is a brand new design that they offer. Um, this company is vegan and animal cruelty free which I really appreciate and their whole mission statement is about like saving wild animals and being good for the earth and I really appreciate that. Um, so today I'm just going to do an unboxing although it is out of the box it has like plastic on it and I'm just going to do a first impressions video and then later on I'll make another video of me transferring my bullet journal into it because I currently have a $5 bullet journal and I got this better quality one because I was just tired of the cheap one. Okay, so now that I have the plastic off. This journal is $20 from Amazon. It comes with a pen loop that's pretty strong and stretchy. It's a little bit loose on this pencil, but I guess for like a standard size pen or a pencil that has like a clip on it, this one doesn't. That would probably fit. It comes with an elastic band to hold it shut, which I like. And this is the, the limited edition, or not limited edition, it's just the newest design, which is the Tiger. And the cover is like leather, but it's not leather. It's like a really nice texture and it feels high quality. So if we open it up, it has these little paw prints, which I really like. And then the website and this notebook belongs to if found please return and I know I did a comparison of a bunch of notebooks when deciding which one I wanted to get and this one does have cream pages instead of white so for example this is a white index card you can see that it's cream compared to white but I think it's worth it because it is very good value for the money um, the dots are black, so they're not like light gray, which could be a deal breaker for some people, but they're dotted on both sides. There are, I think it's 192 pages unnumbered. And in the back, it comes with this little ad for their products and a pocket so you can put whatever you want in there. It's like receipts or something. Overall, I think it feels really nice. The paper seems pretty thick and I might make a pen test page on this one. So we can see what bleeds or what doesn't bleed. See over here it has a little bit of shadowing but it's not bleeding. So like for example, a sharpie which usually bleeds through everything we'll test sharpie actually didn't bleed that much through this I think this is 100 GSM which I'm not sure what that stands for but I know that means good quality <laughs> so that's good um, Overall, I think I'll, I'll definitely be able to deal with the cream color instead of it being white. Just because I I can feel the quality in it and I, I like I like that it's thick. It has a lot of pages. Uh, the other thing that I like is there is a bookmark included. Um, and I can actually, if I bring over my old... Artist Loft Bullet Journal, there are two. This is just a $5 journal from Michaels. There are two, but the quality of this one, this purple uh, bookmark actually fell off before and I had to glue it back. So if I really wanted to, then I could just put another ribbon in there and glue it in to have another bookmark. Um, it's just black, which is good because it's simple. 
Um, overall, I really like this notebook and I'm really excited to use it. Um, I think the next video that I upload on this channel will probably be me transferring my old bullet journal pages into this one because since it is a $5 notebook, I I like this one better because of the quality. I want to put all my nice pages into this. So if you want to see that video, please subscribe to my channel, What the Beck. I'll probably be doing more videos soon, like stationary reviews, um, just like collections and pen tests and things like that. Thank you for watching and have a great day and don't forget to like this video if you liked it.